to another tailor. I found out that he was no better than the first. I bought some pretty expensive cloth and took it to him. <laughs> you should have seen the mess he made of it. I told him I wouldn't pay for the thing. But the trouble is, he's got my material. <laughs> well, I left the suit with him, and it's been there ever since. <laughs> Good evening, Miss White. How are you? I'm all right, thanks. I haven't seen you for a long time. Have you come to take Frank for a walk? Yes. That's right. Well, I must push along. Good night. Good night. Good night, Frank. Well, dear? I've been waiting here half an hour for you. Good night, George. Good night, Frank. <laughs>
myself pull up here and more room upstairs? Go on. I think I told you there's more room upstairs. Sorry, sir, pull up here. More room up. Hey! Is it? Yes, thanks. <laughs> Thought so. There's a hole in two fingers. Would you like a pair of nail scissors for Christmas? Funny, aren't you? Uh, oh, Miss! Miss! It's no good being impatient. You'll have to wait your turn. What's the matter with you today? Put out of bed the wrong side? I don't like waiting about for you. Oh, don't you? Oh, oh Miss! Do you expect the entire machinery of Scotland Yard to be held up to please you? You and your Scotland Yard. It went for Edgar Wallace. Nobody's ever heard of it. Oh, funny, aren't you? Anyway, what's the hurry? We're only going to the pictures. We've got all evening. Well, I don't think I want to go to the pictures. Oh, and why not? I've seen everything worth seeing. You haven't seen fingerprints. I'd like to see that. Uh, still, it's about Scotland Yard. It might be amusing. They're bound to get all the details wrong. I don't see why. I did hear they'd got a real criminal to direct it, so as to be on the safe side. Oh, oh, miss! Miss! Ordered. I'll go to the pictures with you if you like. Uh, change your mind. Have you got an ashtray, miss? I never seem to get an ashtray where I sit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hold on. I live here. Do you? Then you needn't come any further. Oh, well, now I said I'd see you at home, and I will. But I'm only just round the corner. Do you know White, the news agent? Yes. In the King's Road? Yes. That's my father. No. Yes. <laughs> well, isn't that fine? Then we're neighbors. Have you ever seen an artist's studio? No. I'd love to. Come up and see mine. Oh, I can't now. Another time. Why not now? Well, so late. Are you frightened? No. Of course not. Then why not now? No, really. Thanks awfully. I must be getting home. You are frightened. I'm certainly not. Take more than a man to frighten me. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. At first. What is the time? It's not very late. Come on. What's the harm? Oh, no harm, really. Besides, I always think a girl knows instinctively when she can trust a man. Yes, of course she does. Do you trust me, Alice? May I call you Alice? If you like. Come on. Oh, Mr. Crewe, before you go in, uh, could I... Excuse me, miss. Catch nothing but a sponger. Always pestering people up and down the street. Well, here we are. I'm right up there, top. Excuse me a minute, will you? I'm awfully sorry. I won't be a minute. You start walking up. That's all right. Oh, good evening. Sorry to disturb you. Mark this note. Did he leave any message? No, he wouldn't leave any message. Have you seen him before? Yes, the same gent would call you several times. I see. Thanks very much. Good night. What a lovely room. 
Did you do it all yourself? Hardly. I say, do you feel cold? I think I'll light the fire. Isn't it? Oh, that? Yes, that's a new one, just finished. That's easy. I'll show you. Oh, Lord, not like that. <laughs> Let me show you. You take this, hold it like that, you see? Then you get the brush and hold it there. Now you try. Sit. Yes. Like this? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Draw something, Alice. Shall I? Yes. Oh. oh. Rotten. <laughs> Never mind. We'll finish this masterpiece together. That's the idea. Now you hold, hold the brush. I'll hold your hand. Steady. And your neck. And round here. Not too quick. Down another now. Round by the leg. Foot. Long here. Knee. Right. There we are. Back again. Back the ankle. Now, there. 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 Oh, you are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Hooray! Already at the Academy. <laughs> I'll go and get those drinks. Right you are. How would I do for one of your models? That's an idea. Let's see it on you. 
you mean put it on? Yes. Why not? <coughs> oh, it's so strong. Go on. Oh, no, I don't think so. Besides, I'll have to go home soon. I see it. That's it. I'd like to have sketched you in it. Would you have really? Yes. Perhaps you're right. It wouldn't suit you. I bet it would. Shall I really try it on? Yes. Will you? All right. Good. Do you think this will be big enough for me? What? I said, do you think this will be big enough for me? Oh, yes. I expect so. How does that thing go? I know. We all are often overbearing and spend their latter days comparing our times with the present with results that prove unpleasant to the lesser, just idle chatter. They praise the woman of the past stage and loathe her daughter of this past stage. They sing a hymn of hate about Miss Up to Date and spend their spite from morn till night. They say you're wild and naughty child, Miss Up to Date. And whom if you predict for you an awful fate, critics of today won't pardon you. It's such a shame the way they're hard on you. Although you're the same stuff, a plate, smoke and paint, drink a cocktail or two. Why this so long for? There's really no harm in the cute little things that you do. You've a heart of gold, so let them nag and scold. You're absolutely great, Miss Up to Date. And that's a song about you, my dear. Uh -huh. You haven't said how you liked it. Marvelous. I can't do it up. Wait a minute. Where is this trouble? I can't do it all up. Never mind. How do I look? Well, now wait a minute. It isn't quite right. That's there. No, that's right there. Put your hands there. That's right. Go. I say.
Who did you say it was? Mr. Crew. Mr. Who? No, Crew, I tell you. It's horrible. All right. Don't you worry. I'll send round straight away. What number did you say? Seven or eleven? Thirty-one. Thirty-one? What? Thirty-one, I said. No, no. Thirty-one. Oh, good. Just take a look around, will you? Right you are, sir. Just meet you pretty well? No. Eight to ten minutes. As long as that, eh? Yes. He was beaten. Well, that's Tom Fuller. That's a six-beat man. Oh, of course they are. Put up a good fight? Yes, yes. He's, there's been a fight. Mm. You know anything of him? I'm always an artist. I know that. I don't know much about him yet. Mm. We'll find out more later on, of course. Yes. How about the inquest? Can we have the body of the little blade on? Well, you can't do anything else. What time would you like an inquest, Vic? Tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon, about two o'clock. Yes, that will suit me very well indeed. All right, Doctor. Yes. You don't go and do any more. No. Hmm? Nothing the only thing to do is to. Excuse me. Oh, we'll get him taken away later on. Is anything known of him otherwise? Mm, not much at present. We may find something, we get a thorough search of the place and find some people. This is a... Scratch. Scratch, I Well, he's, of course, lose strength mm. rapidly. Yes. 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 Up. Anyone think you had me to sleep all night? What do you think? There's been a murder last night round the corner. And they tell me the police are around there now.
if I don't think the police are what they were. Morning, Alice. Heard about the murder? Yes. I heard. Do you remember Frank's telephone number, Dad? No. Oh, here, you'll find it in the book. I mean, some murders are so different to others, aren't they? pushed his lady friends under the water when they was having a bath. What was his name, you remember? I think that was ever so beastly. He gave me the shivers. After I read about it, I didn't dare have a bath for a month. And for weeks after that, I only used to have a rinse down. What was his name, you remember? Smith, wasn't it? What's wrong, Alice? You don't look very chirpy this morning. You do look a bit peaky, I must say. Yes, Alice, breakfast. Good morning, Mr. White. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Breakfast? I couldn't look back in the face after what happened last night. And under our very noses. Mind you, I don't think myself is altogether the police's fault. What I mean is they have to wink at something. I mean, it's one thing to buy chocolates out of ours, but it's quite another to stick a knife into a gentleman. I must say, I feel the same way about that, too. A good, clean, honest whack over the head with a brick is one thing. There's something British about that. But knives. No, knives is not right. I must say that's what I think and that's what I feel. Whatever the provocation, I could never use a knife. Now, mind you, a knife is a difficult thing to handle. I mean, any knife. I mean, if you knew the term knife, you could put a knife. Nice. Alice, cut us a bit of bread, oh, will you? Nice. What's that other knife? Nice. Oh, yeah, that knife. A knife is a dangerous thing. You know, be careful of a knife. You come up against a knife. Oh, no. I mean, in Chelsea, you mustn't use a knife! Yeah, you ought to have been more careful. Might have cut somebody with that. Oh. Customer. No news of a murder yet. No, not yet. Thank you. Good morning. Well, I must be going. I can't stand here gossiping all day like some people. Chatter, chatter, chatter. Give them a chance to talk about other people's business and they'll take it. What's the matter, Alice? Had another hour with Frank? Another customer, Alice. Morning, Alice. Here's Frank. Hello, Frank. Say, have you heard about our murder? Yes. They put me on it. Have they? That's good, isn't it? Well, I, I hope you get them, Frank. If they do, that'll mean promotion, won't it? Do you reckon you'll get them soon? Well, uh, I, I don't know. Well, I came in here to, uh, phone. That's all right. Alice, here a minute, will you? Well, I'm 
with the gang now. Goodbye, Mrs. Watson. Good morning. Now you too. Last night. Why don't you tell me? Look, you know what I found there? Only piece of evidence that you were there. I'm keeping it back at present. For God's sake, say something. If you're not using the phone, uh, may I? I. Uh, I want to get onto Scotland Yard. I'll say. I want the best cigar in the shop. Certainly, sir. Uh, perhaps you'd like to telephone while I get it down. Hmm? Uh, no, thanks. That no. can wait. What does he mean? Very well, sir. Now, uh, what sort of a cigar would you like, sir? I've got, uh, I've got Henry Clay. Or a Corona, Corona? Uh, corona. Certainly, sir. Any news of the murder? No, nothing yet. Have you heard anything? No, no news. Are you, uh, quite sure? What the hell business is it of yours, anyway? You know, I looked everywhere for that other glove last night. But of course you detectives are better trained at finding these things. Uh, here we are, sir. Excuse me, will you? Thank you. Well, they look good. They ought to. I've had them for years. Sir? Yes. I thought the top was broken, but it's all right. Corona, Corona. <coughs> Excuse me. Have you a light? Yes. Here you are. <laughs> How silly of me. <laughs> Hadn't noticed it. <laughs> ah. All right, sir? Hmm? Oh, of course. <laughs> Sorry.
good eye. I say, would you pay for this? Gentleman, a friend of yours, Frank? Well, we're not exactly friends. Uh, at least, not yet. But we're going to do a little business together. Aren't we, Frank? I look after the shop, Father. You go and finish your paper. What for? Well, no. All right, my dear. Rather unfortunate that four men died round the corner last night. Look here, you. But perhaps it's rather fortunate uh, that your little secret uh, only came into the hands of a man like me. Do you know, there are some men who would make money out of a thing like that. What a chance for blackmail. Oh, oh, but that's all. I couldn't do a thing like that. One miss. Two of each there. By the way, you're a detective. Let me give you a tip. Don't wave important clues in telephone boxes. They've got glass doors. You know, uh, detectives in glass houses shouldn't wave clues. Look here. Come on, out with it. What do you want? What do I want? Uh, well, uh, couldn't we discuss that over breakfast? Mother? This is a friend of Frank's. Mr. Uh, uh, Tracy. Pleased to meet you. Mr. Tracy, would you like something to eat? Uh, thank you. Lovely weather we're having. Yes, yeah, splendid. Mm. Who that man was? He's a very important friend of Frank's. I'll get the breakfast for him. Well, yeah, I'm very rude. Why don't you take my chair? Oh, thanks.
you see or hear anything during the night? No, sir. What time did you go to bed? About half past ten, sir. Did you write this? How old would you say this man was? I'm afraid I couldn't tell you, sir. He had his hat on. Did you notice anything particular about his clothes? Well, uh, he had a black hat uh -huh. and a loose kind of collar uh -huh. and a tie. Uh -huh. And that's about all, I think. Was he dark or fair? Well, you couldn't say he was a blonde, and you couldn't say he was a brunette. He was a bit of both, you know, kind of mousy. Anything else? No. Except when he spoke to you, he went like this. All right. Give me a record. <laughs> Understood? Yes, sir. Right. Get along with it. That'll do to go on with. How much longer is that man going to stay? Don't tell me he'll be here to dinner. Don't make things awkward, Mother. It means a lot to me and Seth. Well, I don't see why they should carry on their business in my parlor. I'll take it. Very well. But I don't like that man. And the sooner he goes, the better. Shh. Just a minute, will you? A pal of yours at the yard said he thought you might be here. Oh, all right. Hello? Yes? Yes? Well, I thought you wouldn't mind if... What? Who?
Any news, Frank? Alice, lock that door. As you were saying, rather unfortunate the way that poor man round the corner uh, died last night. On the other hand, perhaps it's fortunate, for us that is, that a suspicious looking man with a criminal record was seen hanging around the place. Shoot. Look here, don't you try and swing this thing on me. That won't get you anywhere. Also rather unfortunate that Scotland Yard are at present looking for that man. I say, Frank. Just a minute, Alice. But there's one thing you seem to have forgotten. Oh? And what's that? Before we get to any hanging, I shall have quite a lot to say. And the first thing I shall say is that she was there too. Oh, you will, will you? Isn't the one thing you seem to have forgotten? That our word's as good as, or perhaps a bit better, than that of a jailbird? So we'll face that when the time comes. Meanwhile, we'll just sit quietly here until the squad van arrives. That surprises you, doesn't it? No, it doesn't surprise me in the least. When it comes, the surprise won't be for me. Very well then, we're both satisfied. Yes, we're both satisfied. It's my word against hers. Frank, you... you can't do this. Why not? Well, because... Now, now, don't interfere, Alice. I know what I'm doing. You don't. You don't. Please, Frank. For God's sake, be quiet, Alice. Why can't you let her speak? You mind your own business. In any case, she'll speak at the right moment. Look here, Frank. Why can't we both of us chuck the whole thing now? I've got nothing against you. You've got nothing against me. Should have thought I... I had some cash from you, but <laughs> I wasn't serious. Well, look here. Have it back now. Hmm. Well, can't you see that she wants to chuck it up too? And so do I now. Look here, miss. You tell him. Tell him that he's playing with fire. And, uh, and we shall all of us burn our fingers. Oh, I, I'm not bad, really. I, only things have gone wrong lately. And but one's got to live, you know.
All right, then. It's still my word against hers. That's it.
I say, it's not me you want. It's him. Ask him. Why, his own... Well, you very often I see so early in the day as this. Call to see Frank? No. I want to see Inspector Wall, please. Ah. Well, you'll have to fill up one of these forms, you know. All right. Do you know something about this? Yes. George, just a minute. I'll take this along to Inspector Wall. Right you are. I suppose you're going to tell him who did it, miss. Yes. <laughs> you can come along now. Here you are, miss. Come in, please. Won't you sit down? You've something to tell us about this case? I know who did it. Is this worthwhile, sir, now that everything's been cleared up? Yes, let's hear what she's got to say. What I was going to say is this. I'd better say what I have to say now. I'd rather not wait. What I wanted to say is that I was the one... One moment, please. Hello? Yes? Yes? Yes, hold on. You deal with this young lady. I shall be busy for a minute. Yes, sir. This way, miss, please. Is he there now? Send him in at once. Made you come here. I did it.
I know. You don't know. He tried. Oh, I can't tell you. It's too terrible. I was defending myself. I didn't know what I was doing. And then... My dear. Uh -huh. So you found him, miss? <laughs> did she tell you who did it? Yes. You want to look out or she'll be losing your job, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I suppose we should soon have lady detectives up at the yard, eh? <laughs> but I should be all right on the door, won't I? <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.